Excited to talk with you about your film uh, Songs from the Compost, Mutating Bodies, Imploding Stars, for which you are using choreography, narration, lyrics, and sound to explore the beauty of the nature, to challenge our relationship to the environment, and to refer to questions of posthumanism. So uh, what was the starting point of creating the film, and where does the title come from? Mm -hmm. Thank you for the question. The title comes um, from the lyrics and like thinking about compost as this place of like ongoing transformation where, you know, like living and dying happens like simultaneously. And these were like the ideas that I then unfold through the song. So compost felt like it's this kind of, you know, potent place. And then like also songs, because I feel like I'm, I was trying also to almost work with language as compostable material, you know, where it's like often becoming um, almost imperceptible and it's layered and blending into each other, like how the words work in the track. The starting point was a location um, And my long forest walks in Nida, it's a place that I know since I was a kid or a teenager. So I know it quite well. And I uh, had a chance to return there and to spend a few months in the residency. And during those months, like I would take these long forest walks and just look closely and slowly what's happening on the forest floor observe these processes and then it started to materialize and at the same time I was reading a lot of like science fiction by Octavia Butler the African American writer and Margulis and the songs are in a way for me they are like um, kind of a compact translation of some of the ideas from these both authors into a form of a song which is you know has this kind of poppy and seductive dimension Yeah, and the film in the end, so the film is like a love letter to both these writers and to the forest that that I know. Thank you. Uh, you were mentioning the, the different layers and most of all, the film has like this visual layer and the sound layer. And um, the dancers, are, they are moving through the forest, through the sand, um, towards the sea. And yeah, they're also merging with themselves and with the nature. So um, how do you, um, how did you create the choreography? Choreography is in a way like there's two parts of it. One part that was created by me, like, and kind of proposed to this local youth uh, that are in the film. And that comes a bit like, you know, of how I and my daughter would hang out in that forest. We would love to lay down there. And it's kind of elaboration of that, of how we are in that landscape. And then there is a choreographer, Mami Kang, who I invited specifically because of her like vocabulary that she developed as, her, as an artist of her own. She calls it inorganic quality that I thought it would be interesting to combine it with the, with the landscape. I was thinking how to think of about choreography as a way of like mimicry in relation to the landscape. You know, how can we like, instead of like projecting human agency, how can we instead embrace like the creature dimension, the animal like ancestor within us. And that's why there is all this like horizontality or like walking like crabs. I think it's also very interesting like to, talk about the costumes so um so they're on one hand they're very like contemporary yet um yet they're also like very advanced and um they're um they have like application like mutated fingers and um how did you develop these costumes and um yeah which role do they have like in your greater sense of the work 
The costumes are a contribution by my friend, who is an artist, Maria Olshowskita, and uh, also Yulia Staponitita. And we all read like a lot of Octavia when preparing, Octavia Butler when preparing for the film. And one of the starting the ideas of the film was also to look into these processes of decay as something not like as a part of cyclical um, phenomena in nature and decay as this kind of the intertwinement of living and dying and so we had a lot of secondhand like clothes that we put into the ground or Maria did we buried them and we also composted them and let like the little organisms eat away the fabrics and we worked with like natural uh, food materials to change colors and that the costumes help the performers to do this act of mimicry into the landscape that they are not like standing out so much but they as much like become one with the landscape so was the extension of the different ideas in one scene we can see one dancer who sits like on the ground and has like this um, embryo with him herself and um, could you please elaborate what um, meaning that That does the embryo have like what does it um, tell us? Yeah, the embryo is loosely inspired again by like the science fiction writings of Octavia Butler, and she writes a lot about this about intimacy between different forms of life between humans and these kind of aliens that are. And I was very kind of into this idea of like of how to how to practice intimacy with the other, you know, whatever that other can be. And this, the, and I had this vague idea of this alien, like a human giving birth to an alien baby. <laughs> and that's the translation. <laughs> Basically, this, you know, it came out as something else than what I found, but... <laughs> Stretching time in your space Through the darkest hours in terms of intimacy and um, symbiosis, what do you think um, we can just like um, take for the future from these terms like of symbiosis? And do you think like we can learn something from these terms and maybe like change our behavior through the environment? Maybe we can learn to um, to be open and to embrace the other and then the difference to le learn to it's a, a friend wrote a book on lichens and i think he was describing that they are like the most loving creatures on the surface of the earth and they are like the lichens being you know this the classic example of a symbiotic organism thank you very much thank you for having me